I was greatly disturbed the other day when I quickly peeked at Facebook before I headed off to work. I have Shauna Aura Knight on my friends list and, and she recently posted a comment that bothers me greatly. Shauna is upset the, that the Frosts are invited guests to a Michigan pagan event and she, she has decided to make a campaign against uh, this event. I have screen saved her image and using it on this video so that there is no questions whatsoever that of what she said. And for those of you who want to complain about using this, you must remember when you make a comment and you make it open for other people to use, you are giving them permission to use that statement, that image. This is what she put. This appeared on my timeline. And thus, I do have her permission, whether she wants it, likes it or not, to use her post. There are many issues here that upset me greatly. Shauna lives in Illinois and is from Wisconsin. Why is she getting involved with what is going on in Michigan? If a group in Michigan want to have the Frost as guests, they should be allowed without someone, some out-of-state person complaining. Shauna is just as bad in my eyes as the American Family Association. This is one of the groups that sent campaign money to Iowa after Iowa legalized gay marriage. They made it their mission to oust the judges that voted in favor of gay marriage. Shauna is wanting a campaign to oust the Frosts out of Michigan. One of my favorite aspects of paganism is the freedom that we all have um, in following the path that we want. You can place 200 pagans in the same room and not find two that share the exact same beliefs. There is really no wrong way to be a pagan, but Shauna is basically telling these people in Michigan that they are wrong in wanting to have the frost uh, to be at their event. A couple of pagans must have wanted to meet the frosts, and they are being told by Shauna that this is wrong. Shauna is saying that her problem isn't with the Frosts, but with the pagans that support them. That this issue with the Frosts is water under the bridge. If it is actually water under the bridge, why is she getting so upset about this? She did mention that the Frosts were wrong with what they wrote twice. Everyone, including Shauna, can have an opinion, but there is a difference in, between having an opinion and trying to force it on others. Shauna has become an evangelical pagan. She has decided that her moral standards are above others, because everybody that doesn't agree with her must change their ways of handling of the frosts. Shauna wants you to shun the frosts. There is no way of spinning this to not look like shunning. Shauna is very descriptive to the level of interaction she wants with the Frosts. Absolutely none. When did shunning become part of paganism? Up to this year, I have never heard of any pagans being told that they should be shunned. With Shauna's demand that the Frosts receive no hospitality, this makes it the second time for me this year to see uh, shunning used in paganism. The first was a few months ago when a lady that I was in a disagreement with said that she would block me from attending any pagan event within 300 miles. And that makes this situation even worse because both of these people are members of a pagan leadership group on Facebook. And that should make you see some red flags. It is also how organized religion works. Pagans, paganism is going to go through some growing pains very soon. Name a religion that is famous for shunning people. I bet half of you said Christianity. And did many of us pagans leave Christianity because of things like this? Shauna is upset with the frost writing, calling it unethical. 
which is something that I find hypocritical. Shauna is asking for the frosts to be shunned by the pagan community. In her eyes, they should not be part of any events and nobody should attend their classes. This is how pagans earn money within the pagan community. Thus, Shauna is openly blocking the frosts from employment within the pagan community. Shauna is blackballing the frosts and that is an illegal action. An illegal definition in blackballing in Iowa, that is my state, is preventing or trying to prevent either verbally or in writing the discharge employee from obtaining other employment. Now they have been employed at other events so they have been discharged so Shauna does fall into that category. And what I find interesting here uh, is, I'm going to quote her real quickly, I'm still working up a blog post on the matter, hampered by, in part by my not having the full text of their infamous chapter 4 of the Good Witch's Bible. <laughs> so it makes it sound like she hasn't read it yet. So she is, she hasn't read it. This is out of ignorance. So why is Shauna upset? Because the Frost wrote a book, The Witch's Bible, later named The Good Witch's Bible. Chapter 4 has some writings that can be taken in an unethical manner. It is talking about sex within the coven and that new members should be prepared to be sex sexual within the coven. In the original edition, no age was stated in this. A few people, like A.J. Drew, took it as targeting children. Shauna states in her post that the Frost have done nothing about this problem, when in fact they have done all that they can to fix this situation. They have revised the book, calling it the revised version, The Good Witch's Bible, in which they have added a disclaimer stating, no formal initiation into a group that practices the great right should be done before the candid candidate attains the age of 18. 18 is the legal age of adulthood. Thus, no kids would be brought into this act. The, the re reason why this issue won't die is because there are still copies of the original book still out there and that is what people are looking for. The Frost can't go out and find every single copy and destroy them. The revised edition was printed over 25 years ago. <laughs> Evangelical Shauna has decided that the many, many pagans that have moved past this one book are wrong as well. Shauna is upset that these pagans have swept the issue under the carpet. Remember that wonderful aspect about paganism, how we can each find our own unique path? Shauna thinks that you are wrong for not punishing the frosts as much as she thinks they deserve. Should it be up to the shouldn't it be up to the individual to decide who they wish to be friends with and learn from? Shauna has decided that she is the moral standard and that you apparently need to follow her desires when it comes to the frosts. I have ideals and ethics as well, but I can't and won't campaign to have them opposed on others. I am not perfect and my, ide my ethics are ideal for my culture and location. Paganism is a worldwide blanket term for various earth-based religions, covering many cultures and natures, nations. Who am I to say that my ethics can be put on the world? I would be an ass if I tried that. But Shauna is doing it by telling others that the frost should be shunned and receive nothing from the pagan community. I did my research on the frost. I double checked sources looking for anything that was questionable about them. If they were molesting children, I wanted to see the proof of it. And that is the thing. The frost have never been charged with, child, with molesting children. 
There are people like A.J. Drew that have accused them of it, but they are innocent of child molestation. I have seen people on Shauna's post call them child molesters, and Shauna has never corrected them on the name calling. The Frosts are being punished for a crime they did not commit. They are only guilty of poorly writing and explaining their ideas about sex in the coven. I read the Wild Hunt that said the same thing as I am saying right now. The Frosts have never been found guilty or charged with child molestation, but some people assume that they have. Then I have been asking myself a very important question. Why is Shauna doing this? The book in question has been out of print for 25 for over 25 years. The Frost have added the disclaimer and edited it, uh, removing the parts in question. It is my opinion that Shauna has gotten a little too big for her britches and is still working on building her name. I can call her evangelical because she is trying to impose her ideals on others showing little regard to the individuality that pagans love. Most evangelicals need something to preach against. Christianity has Satan and sins. Shauna, as it seems, has picked the Frosts. The Frosts are 84 and 83 years old. This is a canned hunt. Just like the crude trophy hunters in Africa that spend money hunting an old or injured tiger. Shauna is 38 years old with a large online fan base of young people that have probably never read any book by the Frosts. In my opinion, Shauna is just as bad as A.J. Drew when he decided to burn the Frosts in effigy. I'm going to post my blog and this Facebook and this YouTube video on Shauna's Facebook page. I am blunt and to the point. Some of these questions need to be answered. Shauna, when did shunning become an acceptable part of paganism? And who gave you the authority to decide which people need to be shunned? Shouldn't the pagans of Michigan be the ones to decide who will be the special guest at their pagan events. After all, it is a Michigan pagan event and not a Shauna pagan event. Are you going to create a list of all pagans that are not allowed to be special guests at pagan events so that next year Michigan doesn't have to ask you before they pick that year's special guests? Shauna is out doing a witch hunt on two people that have done a lot for the pagan community. It was their church that was the first federally recognized pagan church. They have read many books and helped teach many pagans. I remember there being discussions about respecting older pagans for all the knowledge that they have is important to share. I guess Shauna missed those discussions. This is a personal note. Those two pagans wrote the very first pagan book I read. I do respect the older pagans. They have so much to teach us. They are not guilty of any crimes against children. So Shauna, if you're looking for a fight, you have one with me. This just seems to be the wrong thing to be going on. It needs to stop. So I want to hear everybody's opinions. Uh, feel free to express yourself in any way you want. Um, because the Frosts have not broken the law. And that is something that must be taken in consideration. So take care. Be at peace.